Do you think Andrew Tate nice. is helping or hurting men and why? You need to do what you're supposed I think he's helping men because he motivates us to be better and motivates us to want more out of our lives. He's helping men, you feel me, be more in touch with their masculinity, but he's also, you know, like he does have some misogynistic traits and there are some good Damn, points. Damn, bro. He was doing so well. And then the feminist the feminist voice came out at the end, bro. The feminist voice came out. But he's also, you know, like he does have some misogynistic traits. And they this dude listens to AMP and Abel and Preach. You can just tell, bro. Breathe air. There <laughs> are some good points that I think that he boosts confidence in young men. But he can damage some that misinterpreted what he says. All right. See, that that's true. That's true. That That's facts. I'm not even going to argue with that. That's true. Guys, if they only watch the uh, guys that sit here and look at Andrew Tate's TikToks and they only watch the clips, they don't think critically and look further into the conversation. They don't open up that horizon. They don't open up the full book and like look over it, look at all the full podcasts and like actually listen and listen to the women and see how, how he reenacts with them and then sees how he can apply it to his life. Yeah, those guys are fucked, bro. Let's be honest. Though he has uh, some opinions that are against women, I feel like the majority of what he says is they're not against women they're against feminists uh good for men and i feel like men should listen to what he's saying obviously he's been arrested in romania on some you know serious charges right he's free now uh, though. but you could take individual things that he says and you know 80 85 percent of the people that you might ask might agree agree with those things they might not also a base take nice Nice. You can take the ideas that he puts out. Or you can take the lessons that he's learned throughout his life and you can apply it to your life. That's actual critical thinking, bro. So a lot, a lot of these guys are actually woke. They're actually all awake. They all he understand went, it. You know, whatever he might have done to get charged with criminal charges. But that doesn't mean that, you know, you should throw out necessarily the whole message. Which is more important, their message or their lifestyle? Their message. Oh, the message. It's always the message. The more Ooh. important thing socially is is the message, uh, but the thing that might sell it is the lifestyle. I don't know. There you go. There you. That dude is basis. Yo, a lot of these guys are based, bro. I never really hear a guy sit here and misinterpret what Andrew Tate says and really takes it in a misogynistic tone, bro. Except for Fat G. I mean, I don't want to say Fat G's a misogynist, but Fat G going around yelling at women. Good for views, but not good for men in general. Believe like you know, and not, and not good for women to feel safe, right? If you're if you're a man that's promoting masculinity, providing and protecting, going outside and yelling at women, that's that's not providing and protecting. That's scaring the shit out of women. Heard of them? Uh, Pearly things her, like her channel. Like she doesn't practice anything she preaches. Can you be more specific? Like she always says that men don't want a career-oriented woman or a person that talks strong and you know a masculine career-oriented and all that. Like I don't know. She just like I don't know. She tells other women how to be when she's being the opposite of what she's telling them to be. Do you watch their content more for the educational value or for the- Alright, I get what he's saying. He's he's bringing up these Abel and Preach talking points that I've, I've heard Abel and Preach talk, right? I've heard a lot- even Justin per Just Pearly things being cancelled right now. We could go over that too. Um, It's true. I mean, Just Pearly things really goes up. She'll say a lot of things about women. Does she give actual advice to women? Yeah, she does. And then she, but here's the thing is that Just Pearly Things isn't on birth control. Just Pearly Things isn't sleeping around. Just Pearly Things is interviewing and essentially trying to help women in this space understand men's perspective. Just Pearly Things understands her perspective. Yeah, she's definitely a, a CEO. She's definitely like putting her career first right now besides finding a man. But, but I mean, she's building right now. I mean, it, she's only been around for like two, three years in the space. It doesn't mean that she won't, once she finds that guy, she won't actually like put all those things back for the right guy. You know, so she's be, is she being a hypocrite at this point in time? Yeah, to a certain extent. We're all, we're all hypocrites though. Every single person is a hypocrite and that's fine. Uh, and like, and it's like, it's like you said, you can't take everything they say as a T. I don't hate, I don't hate just pro things. I think she's putting out a good message. And I think that she, I think that she's actually a good, uh, she's discerning. So she knows when to make the right move. You need to sacrifice some things to be the messenger. Yeah, exactly, bro. Opposite of what she's telling them to be. Do you watch their content more for the educational value or for the entertainment value? 
Yeah, for the educational. I like the educational value of it. And then sometimes it, it's very entertaining. Just like yeah, your... a, yeah I was going to say, I'm, I'm going to be honest, bro. I watch it because it's, it's hella entertaining, but then, you know, there's educational. I probably prioritize entertaining more than I should educational, to be honest. Uh, to, I'm just I'm just keeping it a hundred, bro. A lot of like a lot of the things women say are entertaining. It's fun. It's Man, fun. I love your channel. You be lighting their asses up. How much of what is being said is new information? Why sixty percent? Yeah, sixty percent. None of it. There's nothing new under the sun, as they say. So, um, but but there's a lot of it that is new to a lot of people. A lot of young men, for instance. Nice. Younger people, it's new information. Older people, it's been here. But the way nice, nice, nice. Yeah. To and why is it new information to younger people? Because younger people are getting indoctrinated at such an early age, talking about equality equals equal. And that, that was me. I'm that I'm that millennial that came from, oh, yeah, equals equal. Oh, yeah, always be nice. Kind of act feminine around a girl, right? Like, th that's kind of what they instill in you. Like, be docile, be calm, be this nice dude. You know, kind of like subduing you, bro. If you ever act out or like rage up, it's like toxic. It's terrible. Being presented is new. You know, like we've been taught, kind of raised that um, girls with sugar spice, everything nice. Guys with snakes, oh, wow. snails, and puppy dog tails. But it turns out that um, a lot of these women are not sugar and spice. You know, and a lot of men have found that out, you know, the hard way and had a rude awakening with some really unscrupulous women. Men have a platform now as before when it was just Oprah. So apparently this guy is, uh, the guy with the shades is Zoom to Thailand, a passport bro YouTuber who moved to Thailand and married a Thai lady. This guy right here, the Zoom? Sally, oh, Jeffy, yeah, Jesse, Zoom to Thailand. Yeah, that's him. Raphael and Ricky Lake. That's all we had to to uh, to really go by. But now men are picking up the microphone. Men are doing their thing. Men are giving their perspective on things, and it kind of gives a counter counterbalance. And that's what we need. And I think that it's also very sobering for women too, for them to actually consider what the future holds based off of their behavior and like their choices. If this is not new information, why has nothing improved? Because the mess is not getting out. Not just women, but everybody. Everybody's on their square. The men are over here. The women are over here. Everybody's separated. Uh, even when you go out, man, in clubs, everybody's separated. It's just how, how can you improve from that? Everybody's more engaged to, they, uh, to, their, to their phones. You know, before you can have social change, you have to have awareness, right? And, and I'm going to go to the opposite, which is the women's uh, suffrage movement, let's say. Uh, well before women got the right to vote, there had to be decades, decades, literally, of awareness of those issues before there was any uh, s uh, meaningful social change. And I think that um, I, I think that that may be the case here. And maybe it's not decades, but uh, it's it, any any social movement starts with awareness. But just because you have information doesn't mean that things are going to improve. There are so many people that know how to be fit. They know they should, you know, eat a little less food. They should eat nutritious food. They should go to the gym. They should try to get sleep. But how many people are doing that? A lot of people know they know how to take care of their relationships, but who's actually doing it? You see, what I like about these two edits between these two guys talking is that one of them is talking about self-awareness, and then this guy's talking about taking self-accountability. And that's the formula that I always talk about, right? Self-awareness plus self-accountability equals self-growth. And a lot of the times there are guys in this space that promote this whole RP, uh, RP awareness, but they don't take accountability for themselves. So they're not really, they're kind of grifters, right? They're not really leading uh, by example. People know what to do, but actually doing it or being aware of what to do and actually doing it are two different things. So I don't think it just applies to this topic. Why do these channels spend so much time on self-improvement and men grooming themselves to please toxic women that just want to use them and bring nothing to the table? Uh, honest opinion, I feel like I feel like you know a, a lot of men lose a, a lot of mascul masculine masculinity. So I just feel like they they just need to know you know what I'm saying let these females know you can't just use any man who they how they want to use them to please toxic women that just want to use us and bring nothing to the table. We that's shouldn't. A, we shouldn't. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a good. We I shouldn't. Think. We shouldn't use it for toxic women. I believe that you you post it better yourself, so you can attract the women you want, not gold diggers and shit so the idea is become a person that is uh that somebody would want to be with and and not do it but don't do it you see how guys this is what i noticed 
Look at all these guys. So many different guys, when they're talking about, when they're having these conversations, they're all like, we need to improve. That's always the message is we need to improve. We need to take accountability. And then when you see when we ask that same question towards women, it's always, oh, it's the guy's fault. It's the guy's fault. It's never they need to improve for the guy they want to be with. But all these guys that are in the RP space, they're always like, no, we need to improve. And then we're going to attract the right kind of girl. You see, you see how that mentality is crazy backwards, bro. The girls are just not willing to take accountability every time they're asked these questions. It's crazy. And you think that, and, and, and that's crazy because all the people in the space that are against the manosphere, that are against, they say, oh, it's so toxic, it's so terrible. Then why are all the guys pointing the finger at themselves sitting here and saying, we need to take self-accountability? We need to become more self-aware and take self-accountability and change in order to grow, in order to find the girl that we want to be with. But all the but all but you never call the women toxic. You never call these feminists toxic for sitting here and not and not sitting here and owning their own shit. Just to it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, pickup artists. You know the idea of kind of gaming the system, playing a game versus becoming a person who's attractive to the to the type of people you want to attract. Does ah uh, no 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 no. This is where I disagree, bro. Let me see what you said right there. The idea of kind of gaming the system playing a game versus becoming a person who's attractive to to the type of people you want to attract so all right i agree with what he's saying is basically when guys start to learn game when they start to understand women they're trying to just gain the system instead of actually self-improving themselves you could get lost in that that's true i'm not going to say it's not true but game is very very important towards understanding women you need to have a certain amount of game you can't get lost in the game but you need to be able to balance your game while you're self-improving in your career, while you're learning to save up money, while you're understanding how money works, right? And then while you're physically better in yourself. This is also time-consuming. That's why you need to be disciplined. You need to have a rigid schedule towards when you're doing all the things that you're doing to self-improve yourself, right? Game is very important. Pickup artist is good because that's another form of self-improvement towards helping yourself um, overcome the idea of getting rejected which is which is a fear that you need to face